Hello everyone and welcome back to another how to tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to export video in Camtasia. Thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Check out the latest deal for £1.35 per month in the UK and $1.83 in the US. This works out to be 83% off the usual price. You will also get 3 months extra with a 30 day money back guarantee. Developed by top cyber security specialists and IT engineers in 2019, Atlas VPN stops ads and malware, it blocks malicious links, ads and trackers, bypasses geographic restrictions, and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. Protects unlimited devices as well with a single subscription. It also has more than 6 million users worldwide. Don't settle for less when it comes to your online privacy and freedom. Try Atlas VPN today and experience the true potential of the internet. For more information, click on the link down below. First thing to do is obviously have Camtasia opened and having the project you're working on be completed and you're satisfied with it. And the only thing you want to do now is to export it. You have two ways to go about this. You can do the way that I usually do is on the top right is click the green the green export button. Or you can go back to the top left and click export from the menus. So we're going to use the one I prefer and I I believe most people find more convenient is the large green export button at the top on the top right. Click that. As you can see, you've got loads of options here. There's even an option to sign in with your YouTube account. You get a few options to muck, to muck about with. Title, description, tags, category, privacy. You've not got a huge amount of things you can alter, but it's decent enough, I suppose, if you're into it. If you want that, but I, I don't bother with that. But what we're really here for this is, oh, before I mentioned the local files, there's the legacy local files. If we click that, click next, you can see you've got a lot more formats and video settings. Look, at, remember the 60% here. You had a lot more options and things you can alter. And it looks like they're phasing this out, so by the time you see this video, it may be phased out completely, so just bear that in mind, we're just going to go with what they recommend, the local files. As you can see, it's a much more simplified version, it's so maybe here, this is your file name, the file I've given it, and the save location. Click the folder icon, and I'm just going to, for this tutorial, I'm just going to click the desktop icon and select that. There is the file type. MP4 recommended is GIF or GIF and MP and an and a M4A audio only option. This is obviously just for people that just for some reason just want the audio outputted for maybe some purposes you may need that. We're going to go with the recommended MP4 and before we click that export button we're going to look at advanced settings and click that. Another few options here, I do not recommend mucking about with dimensions because this is only going to change the output. The video itself will still be, this video in particular is a 1080p and if I upgrade it to 4K it's going to be much shrunk down and it's going to be borders, black borders everywhere. It's just not recommended. It's best to do it in the timeline, in the program. Don't mess about with it. Don't mess with it at this stage. There's audio, there's only a few options here. I use the highest setting. I don't know if that's if it's default, but I turned it on to that. Now this is the option I was wanting to show you. Click encoding. And with the frame the frame rate, you can change the frame rate here as well. The only thing I really want us to look at and to, to change is quality. As I mentioned before, it's set the default at 60. Now if you have a long video and the file size is quite large and you don't mind sacrificing a little bit of quality to get the file sizes down on your computer, maybe you've got limited space, you can click the slider down to get to the desired result. 
example, let's just say in the opposite side, you've uploaded the file to YouTube, say, and you're not quite happy with the output, you're a bit disappointed. Well, is it 60 default? You can say 65. Nah, maybe a bit low. 70. That will do. And you're quite happy with that. Well, you can either click the advanced settings again if you want to, but we're left with just one option left. Click the export button. And now it's starting to render. I would like to also note that it doesn't have a progress bar in the same of percentage points of 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 10%, 20 30 40 50. For some reason, this version of Camtasia has removed that, so you just have to see the green progress bar and guess it's at over 20%, 25 maybe 30% now. I don't know why they removed it, but they removed it. And here we are, finally. You can click the close button, or you can view the media which will play the video, or you can open the file location. And that's it. That's you completed it. That's you've got everything that you need. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you have, I'd be grateful if you could leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to see more videos from me you can subscribe to the channel and if you really like to be up to date with the very latest videos you can click that notification bell and I'll keep you up to date when any new video is uploaded and goes live on YouTube and that's it for me I want to thank you again for watching and I'll hopefully hopefully I will see you in the next video take care everyone bye for now